Hi, I wanted to give you three quick tips on how you can not screw up your kids during and after your divorce. Number one, just love them. Number two, don't be a jerk. And number three, therapy is not their enemy. Hi, I'm Stephanie Hunnell, the owner of the Hunnell Law Group in Asbury Park, New Jersey, and I've been practicing in family law and specifically divorce litigation for about 17 years now. And these three suggestions and tips could really, really help save your kids during the divorce and after the divorce. Number one was loving them. All I want to know is that both of their parents still love them, even though the two of them might, the two parents might not love each other. They want to be um, comforted and feel secure that even when they're acting out, maybe because of the divorce or some other reason, that you're still going to be there for them, that you're going to fight for them and that you're going to do what's in their best interests and not what's best for the two of you individually um, in order as you're going through the divorce, which leads me to number two. Don't be a jerk to your ex. Um, this weekend, I was at a sporting event for my niece, uh, who's in the first grade, and I saw many parents that were there cheering their kids on, and I saw how excited the kids were during halftime to come in and check in and say, did you see that, you know, basketball uh, uh, play I made, whatever it was that they were excited about, and I realized that the biggest mistake parents can make is being a jerk to their ex so that they can't both coexist at sporting events, which their kids are the ones who really miss out, not each of the parents. The kids are the ones who benefit most from it. Um, you know, all of these activities, plays, everything, their kids don't want to have that level of anxiety thinking that their parents are going to get into a fight at their event and embarrass them. So do it for your kids. Just, you know, you might not like the person, just be nice to them, cordial to them, um, you know, during these types of events. And number three, therapy is not their enemy. Even if you might not be a proponent of therapy, kids can have a safe place where they can vent about both of their parents, about the issues that are impacting them, and they can do it in a judgment-free zone where they know that they can just disclose whatever the heck they want to disclose, um, even if that's saying that they're mad at their parents for some reason or another. And, and just because you don't want to do therapy and therapy is not for you doesn't mean that your kids can't benefit from it. Um, and I think that's how you can build and nurture a well-rounding adult in the future. Take care.